Hi guys, welcome to Black Ink Cinema. We are joined by Cody Jagedi, Gangs of Lagos, Amazon Prime screenwriter. Got there in the end, it's a map all. Um, but before we get into the amazing film that you wrote, we just wanted to get to know you a little bit more and delve into the mind of Kay. So you are a seasoned screenwriter with a few movies under your belt. I am Mary, uh, The Perfect Night, uh, which is a short, and Gangs of Lagos. What made you get into screenwriting? So I've always written. Mm -hmm. um, always been obsessed about writing uh, from a very young age. Mm -hmm. I wasn't always sure that I wanted to write film. Uh, in the early days, I wanted to write novels and novellas and that sort of thing. Cool. And I wrote my first screenplay in 2016, and you know, since then I've just completely fallen in love with the um, f the form um, of TV and, and film. Yeah. And what other screenwriters inspire you? Number one for me is Martin Scorsese. Uh, he's he's, yeah, he's my favorite mm -hmm. uh, filmmaker. Period. Yeah. But I'm also inspired by a lot of African writers, um, yes. not necessarily screenwriters, but lots of great novelists like Chinua Achebe, mm -hmm. uh, Professor Wale Shoinka, and you know some of the old um, sort of African styles of, of folk tales and storytelling um, really inspire me every day. One hundred percent. And I think before we delve into your film, but it kind of, you can see that in the movie. I can kind of see the um, themes that you got inspired from other movies or other kind of writing, which um, is interesting that you say that. Absolutely. What is your filming, like your writing process? Um, so my process is outlining. Mm -hmm. Outlining is the most important thing about writing for me and it sort of sets up the framework. Uh, for the stuff that you see later on in the script. So mm -hmm. the, the plot and the dialogue, all of that stuff comes after. The first thing for me is the idea and then it's the characters. Mm -hmm. And I spend a lot of time making notes, sometimes just in my head as well, uh, or on my phone <laughs> about you know characters, about um, uh, what the general theme of the story is, what, what, what's the story about. Yeah. Those are the most important things to me because what I find is that when you have that as a framework, all the other stuff is quite easy. So, so the, once the story is there, mm -hmm. the way the plot uh, comes in, you know, the plot is just the unraveling of the story. And whatever style I then decide to go with in terms of how the story unfolds, yeah. that's the easy part for me. Yeah. So the most important part for me, again, you know, is the themes, what the general story is about, and, and who the characters are, and then do it backwards, yeah. absolutely, yeah. That's really cool. Did you go to school to study at all? No, no. What did you study? All. Uh, I studied political science oh, uh, for my first degree and then public policy so as for my said, master's. As he first degree, just, just Yeah, that's an way. African thing. So. <laughs> He's got more where that came from. <laughs> yeah, um, so, no, so no formal film training, uh, mm. but you know, like you hear many filmmakers say, the, the most important sort of uh, training that you get for film is just watching film and reading scripts, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So you mentioned you have a degree in politics, what other degrees do you have then? So I have a master's as well. Uh, in public policy and administration. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> love that. And was that hard or easy? How did you find that? No, it wasn't bad. So um, my first degree was in the States mm -hmm. um, where the learning is very different from, um, from the <laughs> UK. And then I, I came back to London uh, to do my master's. Yeah. And I did, I, you know, I found that quite tasking because, you know, the, the master's degree, you're not really, you're not, no one's standing in front of the classroom teaching you what to do. Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's just discussions, isn't it? Mm. And um, it's also, also very subjective. So you need to have a novel take on, on, on you know, your opinions. Yeah. Um, as opposed to having a, a right or wrong answer. So mm. that was quite complicated, but it was fun, it was fun. Yeah. It's a long time ago, too. So. <laughs> no, I'm don't, glad. Don't. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that's in the past, though. But I do love that. I do love how, especially in African culture, everyone loves to just keep learning. Like, there's yeah. never an end. It's not like, okay, I've gone to school now, that's the end. Yeah. It's like, yeah. there's always room. And would you ever dabble in acting yourself? No. No. <laughs> not at all. Or directing as well? Um, Quite recently, I've been thinking, you know, a lot about directing, only because sometimes you get the feeling that you're putting something down on paper that you're not sure okay. um, would be, you know, translated properly on on screen. Yeah. That, just, that might just be a writer's sort of like uh, anxiety. I don't think it's a real fear, <laughs> or, or it's a logical fear. Mm. Um, but I, I I love writing so much, and I spend so much time writing that I fear that getting into anything else mm. uh, will take away time uh, from the work that I'm doing at the moment. So I doubt that I'll ever, you know, become a director, but I, I have been thinking about it. Yeah. 
Do you ever feel nervous about handing your work over to someone else? Obviously, you do the screenwriting and then somebody else brings it to life, so to speak. Do you ever feel a bit yes, precious um, about that? Yeah, absolutely. I think, and I think most writers will tell you that they're quite precious and quite sensitive about their work. What I've found, though, is that collaborating with the right people um, changes that. Um, there's a lot of trust um, when you, you're working with people who know what they're doing and people who share your vision. And what I've found um, has been that collaborating with the right partners actually makes the work uh, a lot better because mm. you put things down on paper and you have a very specific sort of idea of how you want it to um, translate onto screen, mm. but then you see really brilliant actors do it you know, in a way that's completely different from how you thought it, you know, it, it, should, it, it was going to be. Mm. And you know, the same thing for directors as well. A director has a vision that might look different from what you've put down on paper and then it comes out even better than how you imagined it and that, yeah. that has been my experience so yeah mm. um, at first yeah you, you know you're sort of precious but over time you learn that collaborating is you know could with be the right a, people yeah it could be a beautiful thing yeah exactly and um, before we get carried away with your uh, fantastic film where can people catch you on your socials um, so I'm on Instagram mm -hmm. um, and it's kjgedi k-a-y dot j-e-g-e-d-e -E um, that's my Instagram. I've got Twitter as well, but you know, I, I'm not on Twitter much. Uh, yeah. My same thing is uh, just my first name and my last name. Fantastic. Now, I'm really excited because it's not often we get a screenwriter of the film that we're going to discuss. Um, <laughs> so at least now we can get like the proper answers and ask you questions and delve deeper into it. Um, I really enjoyed the movie, first of all. Amazing. Gangs of Lagos is a fantastic film. It seemed like it had a very healthy budget behind it. <laughs> you can see that with the cinematography, um, the style of filming as well was very stylized. I could see that um, some of the choreography, the fight scenes as well, um, mm. which was really nice to see, especially the, I don't know, the involve of uh, African cinema. Yeah, so to yeah, speak. It's really, yeah. It was really nice to see that, yeah. um, that journey. So what inspired you to write Gangs of Lagos? Yeah, so um, thanks for your, your kind words about the film. Um, all of that credit really should go to Jadi Oshiberu, who is the producer of the film, and whose vision it was. Um, she had this idea while she was shooting something else. She was on the rooftop mm -hmm. um, in downtown Lagos and saw a scene that she thought would, you know, could be a very interesting sort of story about people from that place. Mm -hmm. And she called me a couple of years ago and said, look, you know, I've got this idea, blah, 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 what do you think? Um, as soon as she explained it to me, I was sold. Um, not just by the fact that I love the world, um, I love the genre, but I also think Jaddy's a brilliant producer mm. and she's got a very sort of clear idea of what she wants to make and I, I, you know, I immediately thought, you know, this could be something special. Mm -hmm. So the initial inspiration came from her yeah. um, and then as we got into it, into it and started to build characters, mm -hmm. um, the idea then was to build a world um, that would bring people into a place that they, you know, a place that's never seen on mainstream yeah. um, media and humanize those people. So that, that was the, the essential inspiration mm. behind that, yeah. Definitely, um, that's one aspect that I really enjoyed about it. And forgive me if I'm wrong, but when I was watching it, it kind of gave me City of God slash Moonlight vibes. Like that was the films that came to mind when I was, but kind of merged into, into one movie. And I felt like it kind of, um, honoured Nigeria in yeah. that way as well, like showed the fabulous glamour side but also the other side, just it was a very nice kind of all aspects were covered yeah. while filming it, um, which is refreshing because usually as you know we just get one project yeah, yeah, from Africa, one, yeah, yeah. so it was really cool to see that and to have different characters that you were following and rooting for. Yeah, and I just, absolutely. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Um, City of God definitely is a you know, big inspiration. Mm. Um, it's one of my favourite films, okay. one of Jaddy's uh, favourite films as yeah. well. Um, Jaddy also loved you know, the, the sort of framing of, of uh, many of the scenes in yes. real life. So you can see that in the film. Mm. But um, when, you know, when we talk about the characters, I think what was important for us was to tell a story where we're not really preaching about anything. We're not no, moralising, yeah. we're not saying who's good and who's bad, who's righteous and who's not. What we're doing is just presenting people yeah. um, in a place, and mm. you know whatever you make of it is up to you. But it, it was our job as storytellers to present these people in yeah. a way that truly represents them and their world, um, yeah. in a truthful way. And you can see that as well. I think a lot more series and films are doing that, where no one's really the hero and no one's really the villain, but you, you're rooting for everybody, um, right. even when people are not doing, you know, 
abiding by the law yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind yeah. of thing, yeah. um, you still are empathetic to those characters, exactly. and which are, I think is testament to really good screenwriting. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that, that's always the idea. The idea is always to present characters that people understand yes. and people uh, relate to. So whether they're doing good things or bad things, you know, what, what you want is the character that the audience is able to connect to. Mm. And I think that once you get that, once you cross that, you know, that line, mm. then um, you've done a good job. Uh, and, and for me, that was the most important thing with these characters. Yeah. And I only mentioned Moonlight as well because at the beginning you start the story with the young boy mm. and the actor, and then he's he, a bit later, he's a bit older, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You, you see the two kind of um, him growing up and stuff, which was quite cool, um, yeah. which is quite sweet as well. And then I don't want to give too much away because I want you to all go and watch it. Yeah. Um, but again, his peers or his the yeah, people that yeah that taken him under the wing, yeah. um, the influence that they have on him yeah. as well, and how it was kind of like a moonlight. And it's nice to see, especially um, maybe banging on about this, but like black male role models kind of guiding and being there might not be in the best circumstance, but it's yeah. still that they are taking someone else under their wing Absolutely. and showing them something other, or showing them the love or attention that they are missing. 100%. Exactly, yeah. which I thought was quite sweet. And all kids will want to navigate to that you know yeah, yeah which yeah, is yeah. very easy while people get caught up in some crazy absolutely. situations absolutely yeah mm. and, and, and th- that's a big thing as well um when you think about gangs mm. um, a lot of people don't realize that in different societies what you find is kids um want either you know role models or they want to be part of something yeah. they want, want to be, a family yeah they want mm. a family and that essentially is why you, know, you find many children join gangs yeah. And so, you know, with this story, what you see is a kid who um, essentially falls in love um, with a father figure yes. and what he represents. And mm. that's, that then becomes who he wants to be. Yeah. And it's, a, you know, it's something that happens every day. Mm. What I found quite, it was quite gory. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to be as gory as yeah. it was. There were some bits I was like, oh, ow, I had yeah. to like look away. Yeah. Um, was that... A conscious thing that you wanted it yeah. to be is quite explicit and yeah okay. um, it, 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 again it goes back to us want, wanting to be honest mm. um, you can't tell a story about gangs in Lagos without showing the violence because that is a very significant part of the gang the the, 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 the gang world or yeah. the gang life in Nigeria is violent yeah. um, as it is in many places are, you know around the world so the idea was to be honest about it mm-hmm. not necessarily to say oh let's just make a film that has maximum violence but mm-hmm. as soon as I knew we we're doing a film about that world yes. one of the first things I asked Jaddy was look is this going to be is this going to allow maximum violence and she was like yeah so I was mm-hmm. like okay cool this, this, this is one for me <laughs> shout out to the makeup artists because yeah. some of those the faces yeah, and I, know, I was, I was really like oh my god that looks way too real yeah. um, luckily I watched it during the day so I had time to get it out of my <laughs> mind because I'm very impressionable and I don't I don't need that those dreams um, yeah, <laughs> at night um, the actors yeah. uh, especially the main actor who was phenomenal totally, yeah. are so good I love Ify god yeah, yeah, like, yeah, everyone on social media was <laughs> talking about <laughs> all the women were like, oh, man, why do you do this um, like that, man? But I think it's, I think it's an honest story because this is what happens, you know, wrong place, wrong time, yeah. um, people being two faced, you know, all yeah. of that stuff. So yeah. I love stories like that where it's like very layered and it's not just very straightforward. You're yeah. just like, no, it's that yeah. person yeah. that's it's, it's it. drama, isn't just, it? Just drama, just drama on <laughs> drama. And you deciding as well, like which path you're going to take and where you belong and taking your place yeah. in the world, I think is relatable to everybody because 100%. we all have that conversation with ourselves. So um, yeah. I think a lot of people will be able to relate to these characters, even though it's about gangs in Lagos, but I think it's a universal story. Yeah, 100%. So do you have any other movies in the pipeline or any other work? Yes, uh, I have several projects in development, yeah. um, various stages of, of development or pre-production. And yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff yeah. uh, coming on, on Slate, um, both for myself, from Jaddy, um, some together. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, yeah. There's, Keep an eye out yeah, for that. Very exi- exciting times, for sure. Do you have any um, dream actors uh, that you'd love to work with on your on these upcoming projects? Yes, uh, my favourite actor at the moment is Damson Idris. 
from that's, Snowfall. Yeah, yeah have I you just finished think, it? Have you finished it? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, because some people haven't, so I'm just like, no, nah, that's one of my favorite. Yourself? That's one of my favorite shows. Top tier, um, top tier series. I really like him. I really yeah. like Downton. I really like Maruche. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and yeah, so look out for some some new okay. stuff. Okay. Um, that would be really cool. In, yeah, in, in, in the near fu- near future. So yeah, those are those are two people that I really yeah. like. I, I love Kaluuya as well. Oh yeah, um, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel Kaluuya. Shout out yeah. Ugandans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, <laughs> and Toby, of course. Toby's a great actor. Toby oh. from Gangs of Lagos. Um, I yes. think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be a megastar. Toby Bakri, right? Bakri. Yeah. Yes. But yes, all wonderful, and look forward to seeing them in more stuff. And do you have any dream projects as well? Because I know you've got quite a few things in the pipeline. But what would be your like? dream project to work on um honestly i feel like some of the projects that i have on slate are the, the um dream yeah the dream oh, the dream projects uh, one of them is a romantic drama about fella kuti oh. and sandra smith who was somebody he fell in love with in 1969 wow. and the story essentially is about three months um them um, um spending three months together in la when they first meet and fella is not singing conscious political music or anything yeah. you know it's more like uh, generic high life and he meets this woman who's just so politically savvy and she's a you know firebrand mm. you know, former black panther and they fall in love and that awakens his political consciousness so it's uh it's a it's a story i'm very proud of and you know it's black love it's yeah. black history it's black politics yeah and i think it'll be a very important film when we do when we do get to make it so so that's really exciting i'm really looking forward to seeing that yeah, um you were just mentioning um politics which is yeah. a heavy theme in yeah. Gangs of Lagos, mm-hmm. is that something that's quite close to your heart? Because it felt like there was a lot of, um, I mean, we know African politics, it's all very corrupt, should I say. Um, but that was a major theme in the film yeah. about playing the game and all of that. Was that something that you wanted to highlight? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if, you know, there was a conscious decision to highlight politics. Mm. I think our world is just political. Um, I do like politics. I did study politics. Yes. Uh, I studied political science. Mm. But I like the, you know, I, I, I like the idea of politics. I like the way people uh, politic in the world. Mm. Um, how people play for power. How people yes. try to get power. How they they struggle to retain power. And how power is used um, in order to to access more power. Mm. Um, but I think that's just a world thing. I think that's what people do. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody walks into a room. Uh, for the people and he's trying to figure out how to control the room mm-hmm. that's politics right yeah. um, so it's not it's not so much that we set out to to uh, sort of reveal corruption in politics or anything like that all yeah. we did was just present the world and, yeah. and that's the way the world is and mm. the world is political so yeah. no, I like that aspect um, I also like the fact that you had a female kind of lead gang member yeah. in there as well that thought that was quite cool and she was like tomboy, but then she was very girlish at times. She would wear <laughs> yeah. heels, and she was very against her. And I was <laughs> yeah. very scared of her. And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, especially when she was back and forth with the other. There was another guy who was quite. He just didn't like her. Oh um, yeah, the terrible. Short, yeah, 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 he just terrible. didn't like her. Yeah. Um, she's a great actress. Yeah. Fantastic. I did swear to me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So I just really appreciated that. Yeah, well. that's all, Jaddy, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jaddy was very, very adamant about mm-hmm. strong female characters yeah and you know that's the way it is in mm. real life uh, you go to those places in Lagos that you know a lot of those bosses are women so yes exactly so yeah. did you have a hand in the casting process at all um no not really but mm. with Jaddy we were constantly bouncing um ideas around yeah. and and there are a few of those guys that you know I said you know I think this guy would be good or I think that person would be good and yeah and she and she went ahead um, yeah we, we generally agree a lot on, oh that's good um creative stuff yeah, yeah. yeah we're very um, sort of got a very similar worldview when it comes to, to filmmaking so that's luxury yeah, I know, <laughs> it's, not often the I know case. it's magic isn't it it's yeah. magic yeah I felt like there was a place for a part two how it kind yeah. of ended right was that intentional that you could have done a part two or was that just no, no, leave that's just the ending story. you figure it out yourself yeah that's just the story but I'll say just wait for for what's coming next okay <laughs> <laughs> but there's there some stuff coming next yeah because yeah, also like the daughter or yeah the big boss guy yeah, Kazi, you know yeah. I just yeah because um, I felt like you know that wasn't kind of wrapped up so yeah. there's a an avenue for the story to continue see I'm with you it's alright I've, <laughs> I've got this it's so interesting because like yeah. on Twitter you can see literally after people saw the film 
people were predicting what part two was going to be yeah. or what was going to come next. I was like, oh, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. so let's, let's I mean, see. yeah, exactly. Because um, I thought that was quite interesting because, you know, having a gangster dad or whatever and being kind of oblivious to it or pretending that you don't yeah. see what's actually going on in yeah. that conversation. Because yeah. um, it must be difficult. You're born into this life, you know, you don't choose it. So yeah. what, do you, what do you do? You know, that's yeah. your father. <laughs> very, very layered. Love yeah, it. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'm here for that. But yeah, I think the actors were were also. On the <laughs> um, but we want to get to know you a little bit better, so we've got a quick fire round okay. with you. Yep. Who is your favourite black actress? Whew, that's a tough question. I know it's meant to be quick fire, but no, it's fine. That's oh, that's a hard one. At the moment, I'll say he's Waruchi Mhm. Right I love now. that. Yeah. And your favourite black actor? Damson. Idris. Damson. Easy. Yeah. 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 So good. Oh my God, I love his character arc in Snowfall. He's just Oh man, 10, he's great. 10. Oh, he's great. Um, your favourite Nigerian actress and actor? Oh man, I've got... Uh, right now I have to go with Toby Bakre and mm-hmm. Adi Asuna Toby. <laughs> love bit. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you got a favourite black screenwriter? Because you mentioned uh, Martin Scorsese. But favourite black screenwriter? I really like... Uh, yeah, I really like Jordan <laughs> Peele. Love Jordan Peele, yes. Um, I think what he's done, um, you know, mm-hmm. is is stuff that people will talk about for a very long time. He's created a genre. Reinvented on a term, horror. Yeah, which is like black comedy horror. Yeah. Um, and I think he's a genius for that. So I'll, I'll say, yeah, he's probably my uh, favourite black screenwriter. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think I got, I got really emotional when he won the Oscar as well, because I was yeah. just like... Ugh. Yeah, he's a genius. Brilliant. Man. Your all-time favourite black-led movie? It's a difficult one, isn't it? Black lead movie. So many. I love coming to America. That is classic. You can't go wrong with but that. I'd say Malcolm X. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great movie. Denzel. It's a three parter, I call it. Such a Yeah, it's an stodgy. epic. Isn't it? yeah, 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 very yeah, epic. Yeah. Favourite Nollywood film? Kings of Lagos. Hey. <laughs> I was like, aside from Kings <laughs> of Lagos. That's no. <laughs> Who would you like to play you in the biopic? Play me? Mm-hmm. I've got to tell your story. <laughs> um, I don't know how to come back to you at that. Okay. <laughs> Never thought about it. <laughs> um, if you could play any character, who would it be? Like an already made character that's in a series or film? Um, Frank and Saint. Frank and Saint? Yeah, yeah, it's a great, great character. It is. A great character. Yeah. yeah. Do you have an answer for your... Who would play you in the biopic? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to think. Because they'll need to be Nigerian, right? I mean, at this um, rate, you know, everyone plays everyone. Do you know who I really like? Sam Adewomi. He's in You Don't Know Me. Oh, yes. He's yes. In, yeah, he's a fantastic yes. actor. Yes, he's got I like this know. really like haunting, sort yeah. of, like brooding look that I like. Yeah, yeah. He's, a good, he's a good actor. Oh, there you go. That's a, that's a great <laughs> answer. So that's a wrap. We'll a quick fire round. So if you had to direct people to entice them to watch Gens of Lagos, uh, what clip would it be and why? Um, my favourite my favorite scene in the movie is when Terrell gets kidnapped mm. and he's begging for his life. That's the clip, actually. That's um, the clip. Yeah, it's over. It's across the river. Mm. That, that, that was... yeah, that's the one. That's my that's my favorite, <laughs> and it's my favorite character in the film as well. So yeah, it'll be that one. I I had a gruesome one. The butcher scene was quite okay. I know that's a bit, it's a lot, but it just kind of encompasses Gangs of Lagos. I felt like it had all the goriness, but was very sinister, and you just wanted to know what was going to happen next as well. After yeah, the that that scene was very. Um, well thought out. Yeah. The idea, the, the point of the scene essentially is to show you what kind of character mm. Kazim is mm. and you know one of the things that he says there, not to spoil it, is he, he says I'm the, you know, I'm the son of a butcher. Yes. Um, very, I'm comfortable mm. with, with blood and guts and things like that and I, th- you know, I thought that was a very rich sort of way to describe, uh, yeah. for a person to describe himself. He says mm. I'm a butcher, I'm yeah. the son of a butcher. And that sort of just tells you everything that you need to know about this guy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I like that scene as well. Actually. Yeah, that's really, really cool scene. Um, do you have any other scenes that you liked aside from like not directing anyone, but like any favorite scenes from the movie? From Gangs of Yeah. Wars. Um, I like the final scene. Mm. That um, was beautiful as well. Yeah, I like the final scene, and I like. Um, 
I like many of the, the tender scenes between the friends. Yes. Um, because I think those, you know, I think when you see people with their friends, it humanizes them in a yeah. way that, um, you know, you don't really get in in in, you know, in other other yeah. scenes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so seeing seeing people as friends in that sort of tender intimacy mm. um, was beautiful. I thought. I quite liked. Yeah, you mentioned in the friends. You know, when the if he's baby mum baby yeah. mother comes and confronts him and yeah. it's like you've just left me alone or whatever and yeah. all the friends are like what are you doing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know holding him accountable yeah. to that which I think you know as good friends that's what you would do yeah, or you yeah, should do yeah. and then we'll go back and have dinner and yeah. you know with the, the mum his mum's there and everything yeah. I thought in, in amongst all of this craziness that was going on it was quite lovely to see that and it just yeah. brought it back yeah. to they're just young boys yeah, young yeah, girls, yeah. You know? they're just kids and, yeah. and sorry you just reminded me the scene with if his mom in church acting is my favorite scene. Oh yeah, yeah. that was, that was quite powerful. Part, yeah, that was, yeah, powerful that was really powerful. I, had to, I, had to ask, I felt it. Yeah, <laughs> I, was like, she I, to, I saw the film. And I had to ask Jaddy. I was like, "Yo, that scene, what, what was going was on? It one How take? do you direct yeah, that?" Yeah, exactly. It was one take. No way. Yeah, one take. That was. I mean, it you felt wild. the venom in her voice. She's Chioma Kotha. She's a, an incredible actor. Yeah, incredible, I really enjoyed that role, yeah. because also it's like these things these heinous things were happening as they mm. kept saying people dying and everything and you know it was really brought home yeah. to her at that point and you felt that as well because yeah. um, we've seen other people get hurt but we hadn't hadn't really touched home so it was really you yeah. felt her pain when yeah. she was talking yeah. um, and that got me really making noise um, and that got me really emotional yeah. so yeah, I, it was, there was just so many so many good scenes yeah. in that as well um, and of course I don't want to give too much away but like it's Sod's Law iffy on the day that he's you know gonna perform yeah i was really i was really upset i was like why are you doing yeah, this to me K? god why yeah. any other way and i'm looking forward to seeing your other projects as well absolutely soon thank you thank you but k it's been an absolute pleasure and i know you're a busy man so i will not take <laughs> many more of your time and um, wish you the absolute best thank and you. thanks again for coming on black and thanks for having me